I'm here with Cool Science and my friend Rachel. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, Ow. we shocked each other. It was shocking. Yeah. Uh, do people conduct electricity just by oh, giving a high well, five? You know, people can like generate a bit of a spark. We actually, should we like make it electric in here? Let's yeah, do it. Let's, let's learn do about it. electricity. You guys ready? Excellent. You yeah. want to get shocked? All right. <laughs> okay, so to understand electricity, yeah. you first have to understand atoms. So you know what atoms are. They're everywhere. They make up absolutely everything. Right. Atoms have some things inside of them. You know, they've got some protons and they've got some neutrons and they may also have some electrons. Ah. And electrons is what creates electricity. Electricity is the movement of free electrons from one atom to another atom. So whenever they're moving like that, they're creating a current. Now, not all materials can actually sustain a current. Not all of them are gonna let those electrons go through, but some materials are really good for creating electric currents, and we call those conductors. So people can be conductors. Well, I've got some things here. I'm kind of interested to test out what can really be a conductor. Are you guys ready? So I'm going to be creating a circuit, and I've got a couple things to test out a circuit with. I've got a potato, I've got an orange, I've got a whoopee cushion. Oh, a whoopee cushion conducts electricity? Well, I don't know, we're gonna okay, find, we'll that find out. out. Um, I've also got some copper wires, and you're also going to need two electrodes, a copper electrode and a zinc electrode. And you're also going to want to use a small low voltage clock or light bulb. And All if right. there's a battery pack in that clock, take it out and then plug your copper wires into it to get it right in there. No cheating with the battery, no All right. cheating. All right, so safety first. Here are your goggles. Oh, excellent. I've got my totally awesome goggles right here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clock and I'm going to put one of the electrodes in here. And that's the copper and, side, right? Oh, yeah, and then I'm going to put the zinc electrode also in here. Oh, our clock is turned on. Can you see it? So just by, like that, it's conducting yeah, electricity so, yeah, through so the potato. What's actually happening is that the sap inside the potato is touching with those metals and it's creating an electrochemical reaction that's causing little electrons to go moving all throughout the copper wires. The sap starts to zap. It, the it sap works. starts to zap. Got I love it. it. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try the whoopee cushion next. Really? Okay, yeah. We'll see what happens. What do you guys think is going to happen if she pokes the whoopee cushion? gonna pop? Okay, I'm not going to be popping the whoopee cushion. Let's see what happens if I put it one on each side. You know the copper one? All Let's right. see, is it going through, is it gonna go through the rubber? Oh no, it's not working. We're, we're not generating any electricity. Rubber is an insulator. Rubber. It doesn't really allow for electric currents to pass through it. Okay. Okay, let's try the, ooh, let's try the orange now. Okay. okay, just pop these in here. Yeah, ready, one, two, did the clock turn on? Oh, it did turn on. Check oh, it out. that's awesome. And the same thing is happening in here, except rather than sap, we've got acids. The acids inside this fruit, Excellent. sending the electrons moving through. We've got one more secret conductor, though. Does anyone have a guess what it is? What's the secret conductor? There you go. You are my conductor. So awesome. here you go. Take one in each hand, David. See if no you can turn way. it on. No oh, way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just go like this. Let's see. And. Look, we actually have it lighting up a little bit. We got lighting up a little I'm not bit. A very what, good if I, what if I add myself in here? Oh, now it's really showing up. Now we uh, really generate a power work. inside this clock. Hey, aren't you glad Rachel came to join us today in Cool Science? <laughs> Thanks so much, yeah, Rachel. You're Science is cool.